Alright people, it's Apple Teenies with Ken and welcome to the Memorial Day edition. As you can see, in the back I have a flag up. I'm wearing my USA t-shirt, even though you really can't see it past my arm sling. That's right people, I'm wearing an arm sling. If you've been following me on Facebook, you might know why I got this arm sling on. I'm gonna tell you, I tried to make a comeback, pitching at 40 years old. That's right, and to make a long story short, I kind of strained my shoulder a little bit, you know, I really wasn't um, ready for the whole thing and I went out and uh, overdid it. But you know, hey, I'm hoping that with this arm sling on, taking some Advil, icing it down, doctor said I strained it, drink a couple Appletinis, maybe it'll feel better, who knows. But we're going to give it a shot. Let's see what happens here when I drink some Appletini. Whew! That's good stuff right there, folks, and you know what? I'm done with this. Get it out of here. Don't need it. All right. I came back on Tuesday night. I hadn't played baseball since 1999. And I went out there. I pitched three strong innings, struck out four batters, gave up one hit, got a save. You know, when I first went out there, I wasn't so sure. I was a little bit, you know, eh. But I went out there. I faced a pretty good team. Um, from what I understand, they're the best team in that league that I was playing in. So, you know, went out there, faced some guys. I was by far the oldest guy out there. Most of the guys were in their 20s. Um, I walked out there, I'm 40. You know, what's her name from Saturday Night Live? She's 50! Yes, Ken has lost it. Hiding in the basement from the wife and kids. Friday nights. All right, don't have a guest this week, you know. Tom Selleck, he's harder than I thought to get on the show. Very, very hard. But you know what? If anybody out there knows Tom Selleck, or can get a message to him, or his agent, please do so. And don't forget, folks, it's going to be a great weekend. Memorial Day weekend. USA, baby, that's right. And I'm going to do a top 10 right now. I know I started a top 10 last week, but I'm going to do a top 10 of the wonderful and cool things about our country. Here we go. Number 10, jumping right in. Hot chicks and thongs. I like them, so should you. Mad rib, get a headshot in. Number 9, politics. In this country, politics are great. Because sooner or later, somebody's going to say something really stupid, and we can all talk about it. So whatever side you're on, you're probably going to say something stupid eventually, and we can all have a good laugh. So keep it up. Number eight, baseball. America's pastime. And folks, we've got people playing it all over. 40-year-old guys, we got kids playing it, we got guys who take performance-enhancing drugs playing it. And we can go see them hit the ball 800 feet. So, baseball. Great thing about this country, America's pastime. Seven, Facebook. And I know they have Facebook in other countries, but Facebook originated here. And I have connected with people I haven't seen in 20 years. People I never thought I'd see again or hear from again. And I was kind of hoping I didn't. But I did. And I'm glad I did because now they know everything about me. Number six, football. That's right, I like sports, so baseball's on here and football's on here too. The Super Bowl, people, the greatest thing. They tried to play football in Europe, guess what? Sucked. Number five, here's another great thing about this country. American Idol and Dancing with the Stars are finally over. Thank you, America. And eventually, the show is gonna be canceled, so we can look forward to that as well. Four, Tom Selleck. Enough said. He's one of the greatest institutions in this country. Number three, we're not Canada. And that's a plus, people. And we should be glad we're not them. Number two, what is the number two greatest thing about this country? Apple teenies with Ken. Of course, number two. But the number one thing, folks, and I'm going to take a drink before I give you the number one thing. The number one thing great about this country is the young men and women who put their lives on the line for us every day around the world and the ones who came before them, the ones who actually gave their lives for us. So we can do things like Apple Teenies with Ken. So thank you to all those people who have done that for our country, who have put their service time in. 
thank you. And that's what Memorial Day is all about, people. So, have a great weekend. Get out. Enjoy your Memorial Day weekend. Give thanks that you live in this country. Give thanks to someone who's in the military if you get the opportunity to do so. And be grateful, people. We live in the best country in the world. Love it.